The Association of Fundraising Professionals, AFP, Southeastern Ontario Chapter, is pleased to present awards to members of our region. As many of you know, every year members of our community are invited to submit nominations for the National Philanthropy Day Awards. AFP encourages not-for-profits, for-profits, and the community at large to nominate an individual or co corporation who has made a difference through their contribution of time, talent, and resources. We want to acknowledge and celebrate all those who have been nominated. Good afternoon, everyone. The next award is for Outstanding Volunteer Fundraiser. The volunteer award is to be presented to an individual, couple, or family in recognition of their exceptional skills in coordinating and motivating groups of volunteers for fundraising projects for the benefit of nonprofit organizations and a commitment to the advancement of philanthropy. This year, the selection committee was overwhelmed with nominations. In light of the great abundance of wonderful nominations, the committee has decided to present the award in two different categories. The first in recognition of an individual and the second in recognition of a group of volunteers. For the award for Outstanding Volunteer Fundraiser in the Group category, I would like to invite Lori Fajani of University Hospitals Kingston Foundation to come forward and introduce the Outstanding Volunteer Fundraiser of the Year. The Rose of Hope Tournament is truly an outstanding fundraising success. Held annually at the Cataraqui Golf and Country Club, this a tournament has just grown. To its inaugural year, they raised $5,500. To one of their best years in 1999, when they raised $164,000 in one tournament. This year, the committee raised over $96,000, which put them over the $1 million mark for funds that they have donated to the university. And those funds benefit the University Hospitals Kingston Foundation and the Cancer Centre of Southeastern Ontario. From a tiny seed of an idea to finding a way to benefit cancer research, the Rose of Hope Tournament has grown into an amazing even event. The initial organizers could not have anticipated or the, the, uh, envisioned the impact that this tournament would have on the members of the Cataraqui uh, Golf and Country Club or on the Kingston community. The Rose of Hope is truly deserving of this recognition as outstanding volunteer fundraiser in the group category, and accepting this award on behalf of the Rose of Hope tournament is Karen Sutherland. I'll disappear in a moment. Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much. Um, as you know, my name is Karen Sutherland, and I'm the co-chair of the, this year's Rose of Hope Go Charity Golf and uh, Golf Committee, and it's with great pride and sincere gratitude that I accept this prestigious award on behalf of Jean Wilson, who is my co-chair. Unfortunately, she's out of town. Well, lucky her, she's in Amsterdam. But uh, she would have liked to be here. And of course, all the committee members, past and present. For 14 years, the women of the Cataraqui Golf and Country Club have organized a women's charity golf tournament called the Rose of Hope to raise money to benefit cancer patients at the Kingston General Hospital and the Cancer C Center of Southeastern Ontario. Since the event's inception, $1,059,500 has been raised. Success of this magnitude can only be achieved through dedicated committee members, generous backing of corporate and individual sponsors, enthusiastic participants, volunteers, and the full support of the Cataraqui Club. Our tournament adopted its name in 2003 in partnership with Jack McIntyre, who's had a who was a longtime friend of the Cataraqui and internationally known as the Rose Man. Jack developed a new rose that year, which was registered as the Rose of Hope. It is a tribute to those who have succumbed to the breast cancer and a symbol of hope for those who have survived. In 2006, the committee requested and was granted a proclamation from the City Council that every last Tuesday in the month of July, we proclaimed the Rose of Hope Day. Subsequently, our tournament begins each year with town crier Chris Wyman reading our proclamation. Funding for equipment for our hospitals falls outside of the provincial health care plan, so the responsibility <laughs> for providing modern equipment and technology to aid in the diagnosis and the treatment of patients in the cancer center rests within our community. 
our committee and all of our supporters are determined to ease, to whatever degree we can, the pain associated with the treatment of this terrible disease. Initially, Breast Cancer Action Kingston was a charitable organization which, was dedicated, which is dedicated to breast cancer research, education, and assistance to those affected by this terrible disease received all of our proceeds. In 2004, it was split amongst them and the Cancer Center. In 2006, the tournament committee signed an agreement with the hospital foundation to direct all proceeds for that year and subsequent years until $400,000 was reached. These funds were directed to the expansion of the chemotherapy suite in the Cancer Centre. Since 2009, the consulta with consultation with the Kingston Hospital, sorry, University Hospital Kingston Foundation and the Cancer Centre's medical staff, we determine which pieces of equipment or items need funding for the centre. Over the years, we have purchased equipment such as total care bed systems, which are specialized beds for cancer patients experiencing severe pain pediatric chemotherapy infusion pumps, prone boards which enables a diagnostic imaging team to make an accurate breast image while reducing exposure to unnecessary radiation. These are just a few of the items we have purchased. We are proud to financially participate in the purchase of necessary equipment for the good of our hospitals and our community through our tournament. We are most sincerely grateful to all those who organize, volunteer, participate and financially support our tournament. Again, on behalf of myself, Jean Wilson, our committee members, past and present, thank you for acknowledging our tournament's accomplishments so far. Thank you.